Hey YouTube friends, let me show you what I have here. I'm working on a new project. This is going to be a test fixture box to test um, current that a radio will draw. And a few people told me on my YouTube videos that I should be me measuring current and they said it's very important to measure current. So that's what I'm going to do with this kind of fixture I'm making. I got this box comes apart like that on, on eBay and I got meters too what I got was a, a voltmeter and I figure I could install it in the box about like here and I got a AC ampere meter it goes from 0 to 3 amps and I calculated my radios the, the 10 tube radios I have, approximately 10, 11 tubes, they take around 1 amp. So 0 to 3 amp is a good good range to use, I figure, because the, I, I suppose the needle will, will come up higher than 1 amp on the initial inrush current and then taper down. And if it was drawing too much amp, like 2 amps, it would be like there's something wrong with the radio for example and then the meter here I got is 0 to 150 volts like that so I figure I can mount them like that maybe separate them a little more I don't want them to interact with each other and then I got a, a switch here got that on eBay too, also what I plan to do is maybe mount that switch in there and uh, I got some of these, got some cord at Lowe's and some, uh, some of these connectors. What I figure I'll do is wire, wire them up in there, put the box back together. I can have one, one plug go into the wall, into the AC socket. And then the, uh, the meter will go up showing how much voltage this is there. Then I could throw the switch, and then the radio, it'll, it'll go, you know, the current will go into the radio, or the, <laughs> or the radio will take the current in series fashion. And then I have another, another plug here I could wire in that I could plug the radio into. I might have both plugs come off one side like that. I haven't figured out whether I should just put the switch to turn everything on. Yeah, I might just do that. I could put the switch here and then plug it in the wall and then turn the switch on and then the voltage will go up and then the uh, the current will flow through, you know, into the radio. So anyway, that's what I plan to do. I'm, I'm just kind of laying it out sort of and I'm not going to make a lot, a lot of videos on these. I'm just going to, I wanted to show you that you know, for about 50 bucks worth of parts, I'm going to try to make something that's portable that I could bring around the house or actually use it on the workbench too. And, you know, something that gives me flexibility. Like, for instance, I could plug this into the Variac and then control this, you know, the voltage with the Variac real slow. I, you know, or I could just disconnect it from the Variac and just plug it right into the wall I just take it around the house and just and plug it in. Like if radio was maybe giving me trouble, I could see how much current it was taking, you know, very easily. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. So I just wanted to show you guys that, and then the next video will be me, um, I guess, showing how it works if I ever get it together. So that's it, folks. Have a great day. Bye.